just about. picture that we're all sitting around the campfire with non-alcoholic beverages and we we do have some quick guesses though like benny hen's day to day like when he makes an omelet if he cracks an egg does it immediately heal in his hand and he just can't do it oh you guys want like normal life window normal views. life oh, and also oh, the yeah, knocking here. people over and just cool story. Yeah, my uncle doesn't make his my uncle doesn't thinking. make his own omelet. He's got a guy who makes his omelets. He makes well, the best omelets. Because he can't because he can't because he would yeah, heal so I want you to picture picture an oven, beautiful oven, gorgeous house. Maybe and old. picture picture a couple of little pans that are pre greased. You know the good ones, they never stick. And yeah. garlic in one of them, because our family's really mm. big on garlic, like it's healthy for you. And with then you guys little uh little breakfast potatoes, like home fries in one, and then an omelet. You know the kind of omelet that folds over? It's so thin, yeah. it's perfect. There's tomatoes in it, all of that. That That's how an omelet would be made. And my, my uncle would never, he doesn't make the omelet. Somebody makes the never? omelet for him. He's, Does he cook never. anything? He is, well, I'm sure he has. Like there's a guy no, full time they, right there just servants, standing and waiting. Course, absolutely. There's wow. servants for everything. So think Kardashians, like you really yeah. think that, Kim Kardashian is is going to iron Kanye's shirt and do his tie and be like, oh, go get him, honey. Yeah, no, yeah. there's yeah, for people. that. That's, that's the life that um, – another one, there's a duster. And it's actually the same guy who cooks. A human? Um, I don't know. Yeah, human. There's a duster who <laughs> he dusts. It's like his personal valet. That huh. would be a good example. You watch Downton Abbey or one of those shows where the, the guy has a butler and then a valet and then a first footman and all that. Is Kirk no? Cameron oh. any of those? I don't watch any of that. <laughs> so picture having guys that you're, you know, you got your guy that does your suits and pressing stuff and brings you food, all that. Yeah. He's the guy who feather dusts his car, his Bentley or his Benz or whatever he's going to drive that mm-hmm. feather dust it before it goes out of the garage. So that's yeah. kind of cool. Um, yeah. So that kind of stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Does he have any dietary restrictions? I don't know why I want to know that. He is a super star when it comes to health. Uh, really? I used to carry, I used to carry one of the, we had all Louis Vuitton luggage. And so one of the Louis Vuitton bags is full of supplements. I was taking fish oil when I was like 14 before any, before it was a craze and you could get them in bulk at Costco. Hmm. I was taking fish oil because my uncle was taking fish oil. I mean, he very healthy. Uh, he's actually a guy you'd want to be around. You want to work hmm. out with him. You want to eat like him because he's very health conscious. He's not just this, uh, this gluttonous guy. He's not like alcohol and all that. Like you think some of the prosperity preacher stories you'll hear, these guys are drunks, they're adulterers. They're out there just being wild, um, party animals. We all did that. Like side note outside, like with, with the money we were making the younger generation, but it's weird. You need fish oil though. We can heal. You do. Yeah. He, he's, when I say straight as an arrow fellas, like the man follows the rules in all the ways that, And you're like, really? So he's kind of like an honest thief. Yes. He takes care of his body. He drives the speed limit. He like never goes out. He does not consume alcohol like a wild man. He just is very regimented. And uh, like, so I actually modeled and learned a lot. I modeled his lifestyle. I still Hmm. do like that. I like a good ironed shirt. I don't like uh, preaching in a shirt that's just wrinkled and stained. And like, I don't care how I look. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that it matters. Jesus's word goes beyond how we look, but I prefer to, to wear a shirt that's been ironed. Why? Because I grew up around a culture that, you know, said, don't look like a slob. Like, but would part, you think part of that is because like so much of his image hangs on this, like he can't get sick. He can't, <sighs> like, he can't get in a car wreck. Like any of that kind of stuff, if it made the news, it'd be like, no. would that look bad? No. Like, God, where no, was God? I think it's both. Where's his powers? No, it's both. Okay. My uncle, when he was, as a young boy, he, he was like that already. Tucked in shirts. I was the same way. My dad used to make fun of me and go, you're just like your uncle. Cause I wouldn't, <laughs> I would like cry and yell as like a five-year-old if my shirt was untucked and it, and I, it wasn't like in my tidy whities True story. Yeah. My mom still teases me to this day. In the tidy And that's my, yeah, my uncle's just that way. Hmm. So um, people sometimes say, Oh, he, and not that you guys are doing this, but people will try to read in a lot mm-hmm. of, Oh, he, he does that so that, you know, he can keep the charade going. No, even if my uncle were a CEO, he would be very regimented, very healthy and very disciplined. And if you're late, 
that plane is taking off without you. He doesn't care. Hmm. He's a strong personality, which you don't end up like him and have a power position yeah. if you're not at least dominant in some level. He, he's very much like that. 